In this video, I'm going to show you how to add liquidity to Uniswap. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up the official Uniswap website. Make sure that your wallet is already connected. Then all you want to do is you want to go to the top left and select on this option over here that does say pool. And from here, you guys can go ahead and view all the most popular pools currently available on Uniswap. However, in order to make your own position on a pool, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on this button over here that does say new. And by the way, adding liquidity to a pool can actually earn you some passive income, but it does come with some risk. So please make sure to go ahead and do your research before you do this process, because anything with crypto typically involves a level of risk. But anyways, guys, all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and select on a pair so these are the two tokens that we're going to be using in our liquidity pool so you guys could pair things up with like ethereum for example and then you guys could choose another token so let's go ahead and just choose tether there you go obviously you want to go ahead and choose a better combination this is just for the video and over here is the fee tier now this is the amount earned providing liquidity choose an amount that suits your risk tolerance and strategy so we have multiple different options over here so the default one is 0.05 but you guys could change it to 0.3 1 percent or 0.01 and the lower it is the better it is for stable pairs however if you're doing something very risky then you guys could actually go ahead and set this higher so it really is up to you but this is the incredibly useful but anyways guys once you went ahead and selected on your feet here then you want to go ahead and press on continue all right now here's where things get really interesting now you guys need to go ahead and set your price range providing full range liquidity ensures continuous market participation across all possible prices offering simplicity but with potential for higher implementation loss so basically you guys can go ahead and set a minimum amount of usd per ethereum or a maximum amount of usd per ethereum now again it's really important that you guys keep in mind the range ratio of these two tokens uh, but you guys can go ahead and select on a custom range as well so it's completely up to you and then you guys can go ahead and select on the other cryptocurrency and do the same thing over here you guys could track the performance like so you guys could select a minimum price and a maximum price for the second like token that you're trying to actually use with the liquidity pool but uh, once you put in this information then you want to go ahead and press on continue I really don't want to give too much financial advice in this video I'm just showing you guys how to actually do the process I'm not a financial advisor so I'm not really going to go over like any investment investing strategies or anything like that but um anyways guys once you're done with that then you want to go ahead and start depositing your token so you want to deposit a little bit of ethereum and usd here's the thing you want to make sure that they're equal in terms of usd value so not in terms of token count but in terms of usd value uh go ahead and try to do that with these two tokens right over here and then when you're done with that then you guys can go ahead and press on enter an amount and from there you guys would have added some liquidity to a pool which will then allow you to reap the benefits if you guys fell in this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe i'll see you in the next tutorial